Hello, welcome back to the Ball Games 4K YouTube channel and this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings and we generally talk a load of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general and in this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different, we're going to be actually be reviewing a video game that sort of mimics or calls itself a digital implementation of a tabletop game, well it's not, it's a digital implementation of a book. We're going to be talking about the Death Trap Dungeon Trilogy and in this game you will be taking on the role of one of the classic fantasy characters like a dwarf, a barbarian or an elf or whatever. You'll be taking part in the Trial of Champions, you're entering Death Trap Dungeon in an attempt to make it through the labyrinth in one piece to the other side. And in this video we're going to be giving you a very very brief synopsis of the plot and how the game works. We'll be telling you what we do like, what we don't like, and then we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not the Death Trap Dungeon Trilogy is worth your time and money today and in the future. So remember, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment in that section down below. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you after this. <laughs> Board games, 4K. So, the Death Trap Dungeon Trilogy. How'd you play this game? So the first thing that you are gonna do is you're gonna choose your character and you've got the choice of a variety of characters. You've got the Dwarf, you've got the Barbarian, you've got the Elf and a few other ones. They're basic fantasy tropes, you know. They're, there's nothing that really distinguishes each one from the other one. They might have a few differences in the amount of dice they get, but you, you start it off with a skill, You've got luck and you've got stamina, just like out of the books, right? And rather than these stats being represented as numbers, two of them are represented by dice. And you'll have assigned to you a number of red dice, which are the skill dice, and a number of green dice, which are the luck dice. And your stamina points stay as numbers, right? So what you'll be doing, you'll start off at the beginning of the, the dungeon and you'll be making your way through Death Trap Dungeon, making various choices that are offered to you. And these are generally in the form of a binary choice. So you get the option to, to move one way or the other, or you get the option to choose to interact with a location or an object. All of the locations from Death Trap Dungeon is in here. So you don't got to worry about this being a broad interpretation of the books, right? You know what I mean? It's a, it's a faith recreation of the books. And there's also combat in here. You have wandering monsters or set encounters. So when you have a combat, you will roll all your skill dice and then the monster will roll all the skill dice. To Depending on how many hits you roll, you'll wound the monster that many and you'll deduct, deduct it from its stamina and then the monster will get hit and you'll carry on like this back and forth until only one of you remains, right? And there's also various like skill tests and luck tests that take place. So you might, for instance, need to jump over a pit. So you'll roll your skill dice and it, the game will set you the level of points that you need to get to pass a test. So you'll say if the, the level is level two, then you will need to roll two successes on your skill dice. And the same applies with luck, right? So that's a, a little bit far removed from the way the book deals with it, but it's, it's there nonetheless. So you'll gradually work your way through the dungeon. You'll either die or you'll get to the end and you'll complete it. But if you do die, you'll be sent right back to the beginning of the dungeon and you'll have to go through the whole thing again. So uh, yeah, there's three different adventures included in this game. You've got the Death Trap Dungeon. You've got the Trial of Champions. You've got Armies of Death. You've got all three of the Death Trap Dungeon sort of Trial of Champions books provided for you in this package. So uh, yeah, that's basically how you play the Death Trap Dungeon Trilogy. So what do we like about the Death Trap Dungeon Trilogy? So the first thing that we really like about the Death Trap Dungeon Trilogy is the way that this is a faithful recreation of the books. Everything's in here. You've got all the different characters from the original book that is in here. You've got all the different traps, all the puzzles from the original books are in here. You've got the Trial Master in here you, with all these little tests. You have to fight from the Barbarian, just like you do in the book. You've got the Blood Beast, you've got the Manticore, and you've got loads of other wandering monsters that you know don't appear in the book, but they haven't left anything out. And we really like the fact that they haven't let down any fighting fantasy fans by trying to sort of make it Death Trap Dungeon. It's like a 2.0 or, or taking it, or taking things away from the original book, right? So the second thing that we like about this is the scalable difficulty. You can go into the settings menu and you can choose how hard you want the game to be. I suppose that's that's all to do with the sort of variability of the dice rolling and all that sort of stuff and how tough the monsters are. So you could, if you find it too difficult to get through this, then you can scale back 
on the difficulty here and that, that makes the game a little bit easier for maybe kids you know my kids have played this and that they found that they, they did struggle a little bit with the difficulty of the monsters so that we you know you've got the option to scale that back to make it a little bit more approachable for youngsters you know what i mean so the third thing that we like about death chat dungeon trilogy is that all the items that you collect as you're going through these the dungeon multiple times they're not lost so you're keeping them in your inventory so so in the first game in particular you need to find these gems and if you find the gem then you keep it in your inventory you, you don't have to go back and replay the same stuff again and again and again you know what i mean so you keep all the stuff that you collect in your inventory you keep all your skills and all that all your skill dice up together and any items that you've collected stay with you so that's a good thing it's not like completely wasted so the final thing that we like about death chuck dungeon trilogy is the fact that all three trial of champions books are included in this package they could quite easily have you know sort of soldier just death trap dungeon and then done trial of champions a little bit later and done armies of death a little bit later but no they've packed them all into one big package and you now it's very kind of them to give you three different adventures when they really maybe could have only given you one you know what I mean? so what don't we like about the death trap dungeon trilogy so the first thing that we don't like about the Death Trap Dungeon Trilogy is that the graphics are bloody awful. I mean, the colours are all washed out. It's just grey stone. It's like they've just sort of got, they've got some sort of matte picture and just copy and pasted it all over the place. You know, and the animation to the character, the main character, is, is terrible. It looks like he's made out of wood, the way he walks. You know, and some of the artwork and that, you know, the, the pictures doesn't look like it does out of the book. I mean, I don't know if they could have commissioned the artwork out of the book, but the Blood Beast looks awful. It looks like it's drawn by a two-year-old. So yeah, the, the graphics and the, and the general overall aesthetics of the game are absolutely appalling. So the second thing that we don't like about the Death Trap Dungeon trilogy is when you die, you get sent back to the bloody beginning of the game. Do you know what I mean? And that drove us out the wall. We, we were tearing our hair out. You know, you get so far. And the fact that you all the battles are random you know there's nothing you can do you just you you press a button and then the dice roll and then you find out that you've got one die and then the the rock grub for instance got like eight yeah so you you it kills you and you go back to the beginning and you're like for god's sake i've got to go through all that again it really is infuriating i mean okay there's a saving grace where you don't have to go back and pick up all the stuff that you've you've gathered that would just be a bridge too far but the fact that you, you go back to the beginning it's like snakes and ladders you know what i mean you might as well play snakes and ladders it is a massive design flaw so the third thing that we don't like about the death trap dungeon trilogy is the fact that the other entries in the game like the trial of champions and the armies of death they're locked so you need to complete death trap dungeon first before you can get it onto the other ones you can't just say well you know have a go at death trap dungeon think well you know i'm not i'm getting fed up with that i'll just have a go at trial of champions and then i'll have a go at armies of death no they've locked you out of the games that you've paid for right so you've got to get through death trap dungeon first you've got to slog through repeat 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 until you're banging your head against a brick wall just so that you can get into the games that you've already paid for. So the fact that the Trial of Champions and the Armies of Death are locked from you, the person that's paid for the game, is a disgrace. So to summarise, is the Death Trap Dungeon Trilogy worth your time and money today and in the future? So we are going to say no. It's, it's an ugly, frustrating and ultimately tedious implementation of the fighting fantasy books. This takes what was sort of like an original type of thing done in the fighting fantasy legends game and it dulls it down to a point where you're literally punching yourself in the face when you play this, you know what I mean? We can't recommend this game. We're gonna give it two out of five stars for people that are not familiar with fighting fantasy, people that like to play video games. But we're, we're probably gonna give it maybe 2.5 out out of five for people that are familiar with the fighting fantasy universe and they, they like fighting fantasy because for them it might play a little bit differently you know but ultimately if you are a fighting fantasy fan then go and read the bloody books don't spend 79 on this because whilst it, it's fun for your first playthrough you know to, to say oh this part of the, the book's in here that part of the book's in here i oh, remember that i remember that i remember that once you once you get over that and once you you're sent back to the beginning after your fifth sixth seventh eighth attempt you're just going to be thinking, well, I can't be bothered anymore. So I'm sorry, but we can't re recommend this game. It's it's a really poorly implemented version of Death Chart Dungeon. And I personally, I'm going to go and read the book now just, just to wipe this from my memory. So uh, yeah, that's uh, the Death Chart Dungeon trilogy. Remember, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment in that section down below. And if you made it this far, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.